All right, guys, so we're here in the hangar after uh, doing a little flying this morning. It's kind of cold, so we figure we come in here and shoot a video or two, answer some of the questions that uh, have come across the desk here lately. Uh, one that's come up pretty frequently is the difference between the named insured and the additional insured. And there seems to be some confusion out there, and, and it's a very important difference. First off, the named insured is the one that you're going to find on the coverage uh, summary page, the first page of your policy. It's who the entire policy is written for. An additional insured is just what the name says. It's in addition to. The policy itself is written to protect the named insured. Every coverage in there, every exclusion, every endorsement is with reference to the named insured. So when you see your policy, if it's John Smith as an individual, he is the named insured. If it's John Smith Aviation LLC, that would be the named insured and it will be again on the first page of your policy the declarations page additional insureds may be somebody like an FBO or a hangar that you've got in a hangar lease agreement it may be an instructor that wants to be added and they can be added as an additional insured what that does for you is it's kinda like a an also ran they're insured as well on the policy but not to the full extent of the policy the big difference in it is an additional insured can still be subrogated against and subrogation is basically a technical term for the insurance company can sue them if they were negligent and their negligence caused the loss okay the way to get around that is to add a waiver of subrogation and you'll see that a lot of times in contracts you'll also see some of the CFIs and some businesses that know what they're talking about or know what to look for that will say we want to be an additional insured with a waiver of subrogation now, the un it's the underwriter's choice. He does not necessarily have to issue the waiver of subrogation because if he does that, he's waiving all of his rights to recovery against a negligent third party. So in some cases, the underwriter will agree to add an additional insured, but they will not offer the waiver of subrogation. And again, the additional insured is just an addition to, just like the name says. They don't have the full coverage of the policy. They would be covered in the liability, and keep this in mind too, if you're asked to add an additional insured. If you've got, let's say, a million dollar overall liability, that's a million dollar limit for the policy. That's to cover the named insured. But if you add an additional insured, that million dollar limit just got split up between you. It did not add an additional million dollar limit. So if there's a lawsuit in the event of an accident or fill in the blank, there's a lawsuit against the named insured and the additional insured party, whoever they are. That million dollars just got split up between you. So think long and hard before you just go out and you add somebody as an additional insured because you're paying a premium for that limit and you just split it with your additional insureds. The more additional insureds you add to the policy, the more that limit can be diluted. The policy is not going to pay out more than that limit no matter how many additional insureds you have. So if you've got a million dollar policy, You've got nine additional insureds, that's 10 people now. If all 10 of you, 10 people, 10 entities, if all 10 of you are named in a lawsuit and the judgment comes down that all 10 of you have to pay, that will be split up in who knows how many ways, but each person, let's say it got split up equally, $100,000 per entity. So your million dollar policy now just limited you to $100,000. Now that's gonna be split up different ways depending on how the adjuster goes depending on how the courts decide gets into a lot of legal matters but just keep that in mind anytime you add an additional insured you're diluting out your limit the named insured is who the policy is written for additional insured is any additions added to it. it's the easiest way to remember it I'll be answering more questions as they come in shoot them to us through the YouTube here shoot us an email uh, my email is CH Davis Charlie Hotel Davis Delta Alpha Victor India Sierra at chapelsmith.com. That's two P's and two L's. Not Dave Chappelle, but Chapel. Chapelsmith.com. Catch us on Clear on Top for any of your uh, questions. We'll see you back here next time.